But we are back with Bill Fleckenstein of Fleckenstein Capital. And uh, just beforehand, of course, we were talking about his bullish stance on gold. But, Bill, uh, you know, in your portfolio, of course, you can't just only buy gold. I mean, what else are you going to buy these days? Well, I, I, I own various other ways to try to capitalize on what I call money printing and not have to express a view on the economic outcome of it. Some of them are small stocks that I'd really not, not like to get into. Uh -huh. But I think that anyone who feels like they need to own stocks for whatever reason, I think that Microsoft is suitable for almost anyone. It's not particularly expensive. It pays a small dividend. All of its products have new products uh, coming on. You saw last night from Hewlett Packard that uh, 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 business is picking up ordering. And so I think that if you can't make money owning Microsoft over the next year, you're not making money in most plain vanilla stocks at all. Hmm. Um, so I think that's something that's you know not related to money printing that okay. people can look at. That's an at. interesting idea. All right. Bill, it's Sheila Dimarajan here. You've talked a lot about money printing and all the money that's right. going into the systems. Today's CPI numbers, a lot of folks are saying actually suggest deflation. Do you buy that? Well, no, that's been, that's been the whole battle cry, and that's what I was talking about at the start of this, is there are, there are things that could, would lead to deflation, a debt collapse, a real estate bubble collapse, but it's the response to the fears of what that would lead to that leads to these money printing outcomes. So I think this ba epic battle that's been going on is going to resolve itself in the form of more inflation and not deflation, and um, that I, someday if the printing press is taken away, we can see deflation, but until the printing press is taken away and right now the dollar and the Fed is getting a standing ovation for printing money like there's no tomorrow I hardly think that means we run the risk of deflation but if you have the Fed printing money and then you've got the ECB printing money then where do you go in the currency markets are you then then still going to be long the dollar or what well, I think, no, the dollar's a total joke. The only difference between the, the Greece, Greeks and us is a printing press. So, I mean, yes, we, we're American. We tend to respond to our problems, and maybe throwing a lot, a lot of legislators this fall will help us. Um, but I think that the currencies are all flawed. The least worst is the Canadian dollar, in my opinion. But rather than try to decide what piece of colored paper you want to own, which is going to depreciate over time anyway, mm. I, I think the easier decision is to just own some gold, which cannot be printed. Bill, quickly, it's John Ehrlichman again. Do you keep an eye on how well companies manage their own currency headaches? I mean, Microsoft's a company that's everywhere in the world. Right. Well, you know, Hewlett has the same problem, and they did they did an okay job of it. I think almost all the big successful companies in America uh, have a global footprint, and they're all going to have to deal with the machinations of the currency crisis, but uh, of the, the ongoing currency crisis. But I think that you don't we don't want to we don't want to um, miss the, the the you know the, the big picture, which is Microsoft is on a roll across a broad product front, and like I say, if they can't do well, uh, no big company is going to do well in my opinion, other uh, than things that are in, 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 involved in money printing ideas. Bill, as a, as a short seller, I've got to ask you before I let you go what you think about Angela Merkel's uh, you know, ban against naked short selling. Well, she does what all these governments have done, and that is they shoot the messenger. The governments of Europe uh, have made the, the big mess that they have and the financial institutions that acted like drunks, and now she's blaming the short sellers. Everybody wants to find a scapegoat for the fact that they didn't do their jobs and they didn't think this through very clearly. Okay. All right, Bill. Always uh, great to have you and no shortage of opinions. In fact, some are saying the European leaders are actually becoming their own worst enemies. But uh, in any case, okay, Bill, good to, good to have you with us. Bill Fleckenstein of Fleckenstein Capital.